Close, but no cigar, Orson. At least I can actually see the siphon. And I guess this is preferable to being teleported inside solid rock or something. Exactly! It simply wasn't safe to port you right next to it, Pac-Man. The auxiliary gyrotoid is acting up, and as for the third ulterior exoprobe, I think it's on its last legs. I'm here to destroy a siphon, yes? And then what? Ah, oh, uh, that I can help with. Um, further energy sources within Irwin's fortress. It's near here, and you have to, uh, to get inside. Sorry. I'd better get on with it, then. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
these chaps just the cutest? See them scamper, little legs all skittering. Can you bring me a little one for a pet? My growing respect for you, Clyde, doesn't preclude my pointing out that sometimes you're just plain weird. <laughs>
I know this looks bad, Munchie, but just remember, when the going gets tough, the tough get tougher. Feeling that, they sneak around the back and take a bit of... That's enough, Clyde! Depends entirely what you mean by that, horse. And the evil machine crumbles into the dirt. You even impressed me back there, Pac-Man. Next up, Irwin's Fortress. It's time to beard the dragon in his lair. Beard? Dragon? What? <laughs>
Fraught with danger, my good Pac-Man. Tread lightly, for things are not always what they seem. The walls, they move. They move when they think you're not looking. Okay, then. Hope the mothership lands real soon. I know he sounds like a gibbering idiot, but there might be something in what he says. I believe he did escape the fortress, after all. You want me to listen to a madman? Wait, what am I saying? Mad men, mad ghosts? Bring all the mad cats, dogs, and newts. I'll listen to you all.
I slice the fortress of ice and cutting, slicing, burning beams. You must be cautious and brave. I must be out of my mind. Move swiftly and luck be your companion. Thanks, mister, but please tell me one thing. How did you get back here? I don't know.